Welcome back. Sea turtles are getting lost on land. This morning we got a tip about one that crawled up onto someone's porch in Melbourne. And Fox Weather meteorologist Katie Garner is in Brevard County talking to some people who are rescuing those trapped turtles and she's joined now. So Katie, I know you're going to talk about the turtles, but it looks like you have some help out there too. You know, I had some help. We actually talked to the Brevard County uh, Rescue Squad, and then, of course, I've learned that the turtles that have been rescued, two total here, have been rescued safely. So I met some pals on the beach today. Guys, say your names. Jamal. Ariana. Kira. Ella. All the cutest kids I've ever seen. Do you like sea turtles? Yes. yes. Do you know that when sea turtles come up to lay their eggs, sometimes they get distracted and have a hard time finding their way back to the ocean? Tell me more. I think I will. We'll take the package. Every year from April to September, they come up here to lay their eggs. Once the turtles lay their eggs, they follow the moon back to the ocean, but they don't always make it. They can get distracted, disoriented, and lost. Sometimes people are down here with flashlights or maybe the lights across the street, and then they just lose their, their sense of direction. So instead of going back out to sea, they get to you know change it up and go the other direction, end up on the other side of the dune. That may explain how a massive sea turtle, estimated as close to 200 pounds, got turned around last week and ended up wedged under a boardwalk near the beach. So we came over here and we were looking underneath there and she had crawled all the way to the back of the boardwalk and she was stuck. So, you know, in order to get her out, I kind of crawled underneath there and naturally she was to trying to avoid me. So I just tried to crawl around her to try and get her back in the right direction. Brevard County Fire Rescue has made two turtle rescues this season. Crews find it to be just a part of their job along the coast. I mean, this is an above average year. All right, so we're out here. What are we doing, guys? We're making paths like a turtle, right, with our feet. We've been learning a lot today from the uh, rescue squad that's told us exactly what they do with ocean rescue and fire rescue. They've been staying busy. They say that, yes, a lot of turtles, about 100 a night, maybe more, come up to lay their eggs, but that's actually a quiet number compared to other beaches around the area. As far as a reason, as I mentioned in the package, they don't know why so many of them are getting lost aside from the confusion aspect. Guys, I'll tell you what we're not confused about. Our love of sea turtles, right? Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, we're going to send it back to you guys, and uh, we hope you liked it. <laughs> and they made it clear for the turtles to get back out. Nice job, Katie. Good work out there, team.